Okay, we're gonna look at a few of these uh, of this sum of unit fractions 3a. And uh, for a, it shows uh, 3 sixths, and that's uh, six tiles in all, and three of the tiles are blue. So uh, I'll go ahead and color three of the tiles blue. Get the highlighter here. So it looks like three of the tiles are blue there. And each one's going to represent one sixth of all the tiles. Uh, if I do that on a number line, I do one jump, two jumps, three jumps. Each one of the jumps is going to represent one sixth of the whole set. And if I still write it as an, uh, as an equation, we see there's three six there is equal to one six plus one six plus one six. Go ahead and look down at the next one. Okay, the next one shows B, two thirds, and uh, there's three tiles in all, so my denominator is three, and two of them are red. So I'm gonna color those two red. Change my color here. And I'll color two of them red. Each one of the tiles represents one third of the set. If I did it on a number line, I'll do one jump and two jumps. Where I stopped at is two thirds. Each jump is one third. And if I wrote it as the sum of unit fractions, I really only want one way to write this is one third plus one third. So two thirds is equal to one third plus one third. And look down at this next one, C. It shows five eighths right there. There's eight tiles in all and five of them are red. So I'll color five of them red. One, two, three, four, and five. Five red ones. Each one of the tiles represent one eighth of the set. That's one eighth of the set. That's one eighth. One eighth. One eighth. And one eighth. On the number line, I would make one jumps, two jumps, three jumps four jumps and five jumps. And that's where I stopped at is five eighths on the number line. And each jump represents one eighth of the set. So I can say that five eighths is equal to one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth. So five eighths is equal to one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth or five eighths.
I look at D for the last one. And on D, it shows uh, there's two tiles in all. And out of those two tiles, two of them are blue. Each one of the tiles represents one half of the set. On the number line, that would be one jump and two jumps. And where I stopped at would be two halves. Each one of the halves for each one of the jumps represents one half of the set. So I can say two halves is equal to one half plus one half. That is also equal to one whole or the entire set.